Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial video where I show you how to create and send invoices with PayPal. So this is a great way to get paid to send out invoices for free utilizing your PayPal business account. That is the most important thing to start off with with this video. If you have a normal, just personal PayPal account, you do have to upgrade to a business account, but it's absolutely free. All you would do is go to settings and then go to upgrade to business account. And you can only do this once. And if you ever want to downgrade back to a personal account, you would actually have to contact or communicate with PayPal uh, with a back and forth email or whatever it may be. So what you would want to do once you've opened up and logged into your PayPal business account, you can see a couple of things here. You'll see these new things that are called quick links uh, and you'll see one that is called invoicing. Now you may not see these quick links or yours may look different than mine because you can actually go in and rearrange and adjust which ones show up on your account. But the easiest way to get to invoicing within PayPal is right up here where the kind of main navigation bar is, go to pay and get paid. Now you can see under here, under get paid, you're gonna see something that says create an invoice. Now, this is different than requesting money or the paypal.me link or a QR code. This is going to be a paper log between you and the client or person paying you uh, as far as the invoice that you're sending them. So go to create an invoice. And then once you're here, you're gonna see a few different things. You may see a few invoices that you've shared recently, but if you're watching this video, probably not. But in order to start the process, you want to click the blue link that says create invoice. Now, creating a batch invoice is different and we're not gonna do that right now. We want to click on create invoice and then you're going to be presented with the amounts template here that allows you to bill to and then the first thing we're going to start off with is going to be who we are billing. Now, the first thing you're going to need to know is the email address or the contact information of the person that you're trying to bill. Now, they don't have to have a PayPal account, but when you send them the invoice and they click to pay it, they'll probably require them to create one just to pay you with their credit card or however they're going to pay you, right? So go ahead and insert the email address here. Now, some customers may require you to send it to them via like a PDF, and I'll show you how to do that towards the end of this video as well. All right, as you can see, I've typed in the email address of my customer, and if I ever wanted to, I can go to edit customer info, and I can give them a first and last name, I can give them a business name. This is just for the future when you create an invoice for this client, you can just select them from a drop down menu. So again, all of these things are very important, but you don't have to do that. Um, next is items will be shipped to and then add address. Now, if it's actually physical items, you can click the box here that says items will be shipped to and then go to add address and then go ahead and type in an actual street address where you're going to be shipping the products to. If it's a, you know, a, a virtual item, say a download or a service you've offered online, you will uncheck this, right? Next is going to be the item or the itemization list, right? First is going to be item name. So for you, you want to add a new item. So we want to go here and add item one. Give the item a description only if you want to, and then go ahead and type in a price for that item. And then if there are taxes that are applicable, you need to go to add tax, enter what the tax is for, and go that route there. I've always found that being more itemized, being more detailed here is very important. So we've added item one, so we can go here and click on item one and it is now a drop down menu. So as you can see, when I click into item name, item one comes up and I can select it here and it automatically autofills. So the reasons for you adding a new item would be like, let's say I wanna add item two and the price of item two is $250, I'll save the item. Now I can go through here and select what item I want to add, item one or item two, and it adds it up over here in the tally or the total. When you need to remove an item or you've added something incorrectly, you just click the X button there and it'll automatically remove said item. Next will be the message to customer. Now, this is only if you want a message to the customer. If you're going to send them the PDF afterwards and you're gonna put it in the email, that's fine. But put your message here for the customer. They will be seeing this, right? Next is add terms and conditions or add a reference number. So adding terms and conditions would be something that you've created. So if you have terms and conditions for your business, you need to copy and paste those here. And if you want to add a reference number, you can go ahead and give a reference number here. So if you know what you're selling has an itemization number that you want to refer back to, uh, you want this reference number to be basically linking your invoice to the items that you're selling to that specific client. 
Next on the right hand side, I want to show you something here. You're going to see an invoice number, you're going to see an invoice date, and you're going to see due. The first one is the invoice number. You can customize this to be any numerical value that you want up to a certain extent, but normally I allow PayPal to continue to number them as they will. I believe it starts at like 1000 and goes from there. Next will be your invoicing date. If you click this little calendar icon, you can see that you can make the invoicing date to be anything from the date you're creating the invoice into the future, right? So right now we've selected 10 to 2023 as I'm recording this video. Next will be due on receipt. If you don't want there to be a due date, you select here. If you want the due date to be 10, 15, 30, 45 days out, you can select that there, giving them a full 30 days or a full month to pay you for this invoice. The subtotal is going to add up whatever the amounts are here next to all of the items that you've added in the invoice up to this point. So if we go and we add another item or a service here, you can see that our subtotal continues to be a running subtotal. Anything you add over here to the left will add up over here on the right. Next will be payment options. Do you want to allow partial payment? Again, just remember if you do this, uh, you may run into an event where people pay you very small or minimal fees. So if you do select this, make sure that the minimum amount due is enough to where you're getting some money and enough money to continue to offer the services that you're providing. Next would be allowing a tip. If you want this client, if you know they're you know likely to tip you, what's the you know harm in adding the option for them to tip you? You can select that button or option there. Now, once you've added everything, you uh, make sure that your items are appropriate and correct, and the subtotal adds out to be you know what you want it to be. If there is a discount, you can go right here under subtotal after you've added everything and go to add discount. And if you want to add a 10% discount because they're a good client or whatever you want to do, type in the number 10 here. Make sure it's a percentage and not a strict dollar amount. And as you can see, it gives them $45 off. And anything that you add over here or change, this will go ahead and readjust that price uh, to kind of adjust to that discount. Now, once you're done with your invoice, you have it looking the way that you want. Also, by the way, you can add a logo. So if your business has a logo, you can click add logo, find the logo that you want to add, and that logo will be added up here as well. Make sure your account is the one that you want to be sending it to. And when you are done and you want to preview the invoice, there is a little camera with an eye icon here. If we click on that, it will then allow us to preview what that invoice is going to look like, right? And it lets you know what it's going to look like on their end as well. Once you have finished and finalized your invoice, you can click the blue send button here and whatever email address that you have here into bill two, that's where the invoice will be, will be sent to. Now, if you need to, you can click these three dots in the upper right hand corner to share a link to the invoice in an email or a separate email. I like to do this a lot of times, or I can save it as a draft or as a template. If I go to share link to an invoice, it's going to provide me with a populated link that I can copy and I can actually go to that link like you see here. And what I like to do on this link is I like to download the PDF. I go to download PDF. It will go ahead and show me a preview of the PDF, download that PDF file to my PC or my Mac. Now, when I go here and find that on my computer and I open up that PDF file, you can see that I can go and attach that PDF to an email and it's just a wonderful way of going about doing it, right? So you either send it with the send button or you go and download that PDF and you're good to go. When you receive payment, you can record payment if you didn't you know, send it in a way where it's gonna automatically record the payment and you're good to go. And now you can go back to your invoices, you can look at a list of them, you can change the date range to see uh, all the different invoices that you've sent up to this point. Uh, it's just a wonderful way of sending and kind of controlling and categorizing where and how to send your invoices. Now I'm going to hop over to the PayPal business app just to show you briefly what that looks like. Here we are on the PayPal business app on my iPhone. Uh, again, it looks different. It is not the normal PayPal app where you send and receive money. You actually have to download the PayPal business account and go from there. At the very bottom, you're going to see something that says home, money, and invoicing. If you tap into invoicing, you'll see the list of your most recent invoices. If you need to create a new one, you tap the blue icon there and you can go through and add all of the same things that you'll add on the desktop. Now, if we go here, the very top, you see bill two. If you tap into bill two, you can choose the different uh, customers or clients you want to bill. You have your invoice date and your due date and when you want them to pay the specific price that you're sending them the invoice for. 
Next, we can add items or services by tapping on Add Item or Service. Go ahead and give that item a name if you need to, as well as a description and a price. So we're going to go ahead and give it a price of $50. We've added that item, and you can see it's now been added to that invoice. When you're ready and you've you know, added everything and it calculates up to the amount you want, you can just tap on the Next button, and you'll have an option to Send Invoice, Save as a Draft, Share the Invoice, or just Generate a QR Code. I like to Share Invoice. Uh, if I go to share invoice, you can see that it's going to populate and save it here where you see the invoice and I can basically send it via text, email, or any other way that you can share things on your phone or device. It's going to be creating it just like it would on the desktop. If you ever need to, you can go to record payment. Once you do that, tap on record and it'll note that the invoice has been paid. That's it. That's how you create and send invoices within PayPal. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if I helped you out, and I will see you guys in the next video.